Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to Christmas in June, a scrappy YouTube and Instagram inspiration hop on the 25th of every month, and we will all be doing something Christmas. I'm going to scrap this photo of one of my grandsons, and he is helping me decorate the tree. And I'm going to use these Close to My Heart dies, plus um diamond press die i'm gonna use that holly jolly for my title and then i'm going to use well it's an anna griffin embossing folder and it's something holly or evergreen and the my favorite things viewfinder and then this die set from Sizzix, and i'm gonna make five dies creations out of it and um yeah, I couldn't just make one. I had to make five. And then I'm not sure, other than the brads, I'm not going to get any of those other things on there. Although I had good intentions when I pulled them out. I am going to put a couple of those little phrase stickers on there from Pretty Little Studio. And I'm going to be using the candy cane in that one die. I think I used one sticker off the sticker sheet. But that is one that I am using. I'm... The, these are tags and wouldn't they make the cutest tags to go on gifts i would probably not roll this all the way in my big shot i would have it where it fold over a little bit so i could write something on the inside because you sure can't write nothing on the front and then the back you know it's kind of got the mechanics of like this one right here not all of them have any mechanics on the back so yeah, I'd probably do something where they wouldn't actually be looking at the back for the to and from. This one is a little reindeer, so he's going to have a little red nose. And I did put some black cardstock behind the holes for the eyes. And I inked everything when I die cut it out. So that I wouldn't be stopping and inking each piece as I was putting them together. Uh, this little guy had... Well, I think it was a tan colored collar. But on that collar is a little bell. And so that embossing folder I showed you, I used a stylus and put a little holly leaf on it and a partial one uh, on it too. And then I used a little tiny brad to, to make it look like it's attached that way. Really, it's not, but it looks like it is. And this one's supposed to be a snowman. I think he looks a little more like a ghost when I get done. But, yeah, he's he's not rounded in the places he should be rounded. He's kind of straight on the sides. But I went ahead and made him anyway. He went with the rest of them. He does have a carrot nose. And his scarf is just a little bit on the different side. But it looks cute. And, oh, see that punch over there to the right by the glue? That's a Martha Stewart's Holly and Berry punch. And that's what I'm using to cover up the hole for the tag. I thought about putting the brad there. thought about putting the enamel dot there. And, of course, twine. But then it hit me I could put that holly and berries and look like they all have a little decoration up there. So that's what I decided to do. Uh, Santa's belt, it has, like, you know, two pieces to it. So I made one silver to match the bell over there. And... Uh, have two things anyway on here that are silver instead of just one i thought about making the bell black but changed my mind on that um this is a little elf and um the noses i did not use the noses that was in the die set oh and debbie gave me this die set and i've been dying to use it i thought oh i've got to use it it was just so cute. But anyway, it was in the die set. They had a different one on there. But I think I accidentally <laughs> threw them away when I was throwing some scraps. So I just used a one-third inch punch to make the noses since I only needed two of them. Uh, the little penguin guy, he has wings, flaps. <laughs> he has little arms anyway. So I'm adding the candy cane to him. And... He does have a little pink beak, and in the picture on the front, it shows a pink heart. But I decided to make it red since it is Christmas. And I am using my white gel pen and highlighting everything here and there just to add a little bit of character to it. 
and then I'll be done. They were pretty quick, weren't they? After I got them cut out and inked, yeah, they went a whole lot quicker after that. But they're all so cute. I couldn't put just one on here. I wanted to put them all. And I did have a pretty good size cluster plan for this layout. When I was getting the title out, I seen these and I thought, oh my goodness, I could use those. Well, I didn't want to give up the cluster I already had planned on my head. So I ended up using both. I figured it's my scrapbook that's going in and my layout. And I'm just going to fill the page up. Uh, the paper that I'm using there is uh, Vicki Booten's uh, Warm Wishes, I think is what it's called. And I just use both sides of it instead of cutting into another piece of paper. And I use that EK Success Scallop Punch. It's either that or it's Stampin' Up, but I think maybe it's EK Success. I set it out of the way, so I can't really tell you unless I'm looking at it. I cut these borders out last time I used this paper pad, so I decided to add one of them on there. And it just says Mary and Twinkle and things like that on there. And my photo is of my grandson, Kyler, you know, and he, as I said, he's helping me decorate the tree. And I bet I took six photos, and all of them had this big blur on there. And this one had it a little bit too, but I managed to edit the video a little bit. So you can only see it up there at the top of his head. And I brightened all the colors so you couldn't see it look kind of foggy. I am usually pretty lucky when it comes to decorating a tree. I get lots of little helpers and they all love doing it. And take it so seriously. They want to make sure it's just right. Of course, the older they get, the higher I tell them they need to put the ornaments there's always little ones it seems like that needs to put them down there at the bottom and that's what he's doing he is not the youngest one there though that night i have pictures of the twins and they're younger than he is and you know really i've never had trouble with kids taking stuff back off the tree i'm pretty lucky um let's see oh I'm putting my title on there. I started to put those arrows because that's what I had planned and put my title somewhere else. But, you know, all the little critters on there, they had to go on there. So I had to put my title somewhere else. And so it's just going to go on the envelope. Well, the holly jolly's going on the envelope. And then the fun is going to go down below it. And, yeah, I'm going to end up putting one of the arrow-looking pieces up there on the picture wheel viewfinder that one's called a viewfinder but it is discontinued obsolete so i've had it a very long time um oh and those holly leaves and big berries they are from the same set the diamond press set that the holly jolly is from i was looking up there at that viewfinder and i thought how what am i going to do am i going to push it halfway up so i can cut it in half and not put anything over the hole and then i thought those brads that i had pulled out and decided to use one and i used the red one with the uh, snowflake on it and of course i am going to put another one of my holly and berries up there and they come kind of like skeleton looking and so i glued them on well i had two pieces of green paper from the vicky Booten paper pad and I glued the lighter ones on the darker paper and glued the darker ones on the lighter one. Then I fussy cut around them to get that. And of course, I didn't want to use the die all over again. So I just went ahead and used a half inch punch to fill in the berry part. Well, I think I did the berries first and then the other part. But I think I'm getting close to done with my layout. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that... That's about the last thing to go on there. So while I am doing that, I want to mention that down there below, you'll find the links to everybody else that is doing the 25th of the month, Christmas in July. And all the links will be down there below to either their channel or their Instagram, because some of them are on Instagram. You don't have to actually be doing videos to join in on this. But there's my layout and all the cute little critters and, <laughs> and that funny little snowman. Kind of reminds me of a little white chick 
especially since I put the holly up there at the top. But yeah, he, he's a little bit different, but he's still cute. So, and you can see the embossing there on the bell of the holly leaf. You can't tell really well because I guess the light's hitting that. But it is a little holly leaf. And there's the Santa. And him and the little elves got their eyes all squinted. So, yeah, so cute. But if you leave a comment down there below, I'll try to get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And those of you already are, thank you so very much. And thank you all for watching my video today. I appreciate that too. And I hope you all have fun on the hop. Get lots of ideas. Pull your Christmas out and maybe catch up. Or get ahead. I'm still trying to catch up. But I hope you all have a happy scrappy week. And like I said, have fun on the hop. And check out all the channels down there below and the Instagram. Bye.